Okay, basically what I'm going to start with is a piece of coil. It's the same thing they use on uh, lawn mower throttle cables. You can buy it at, at lure parts online. So that is what we tie our tensile to. So after I get that set on my vise, and remember this is just a way to do it at the house. It's not the way we do it at the shop. So this is the way that anybody can do it. So basically what you're going to do is start by just putting yourself a bead of thread on the bottom. Take a hank of flash, some tinsel. Basically you want to split it in half. Half on one side, half on the other. Probably about seven, eight inches is about as long as you want to make it. So kind of lightly loop it around. Use magnum flash for double cowgirls. Always find where your ends are, okay? Because that's where you're going to go to on one side is the end. That's the front piece. It's kind of tricky because this is not magnum flash. This is thin tinsel. But it's the same purpose. Gives you an idea. So that's the. down tight. Have to wrap it a few times like that. Get your big long piece, wrap it around there, bring it through the tinsel. Get the tinsel out of your way. You're going to tie it, so take your bobbit through there about three times. Just pull it tight. Do that a couple times. Then we'll glue it. This takes practice. I'm still a work in progress myself. So the guys up at the Chicago show, they don't tell us things like there ain't nobody's business. I guess if you do a couple hundred a day. You can use super glue to, to tie this, to glue this together, but what I use is nail harker. Got this from my wife. She don't know about it to be wife. Take it on there. It dries pretty fast. Like I said, you can use super glue, it's just a little bit dirtier, it takes long to dry. That's it. Basically, I just tie it pretty tight around the end of there to keep it together. You don't have to. It's not a secret. That's it. You need two of these for a double cowgirl. Now everything I'm going to show you comes from this magazine, Stamina, Lure Parts Online. I'll give you all the item numbers at the very end of the video. But basically what we've already done is we've tied two hanks of flash to a piece of coal. Got two of those. You need some seven odd hooks. 051 wire, probably about 15 inches of it. And that's usually what they sell. A piece of heat shrink, about an inch long. Okay. You need two number 10 blades. Those are Magnum Colorado number 10s. You need a 3 8 ounce weight uh, egg sinker. You need some clevises. You're going to need some. 5 16 hollow metal beads, a lure body, a magnum lure body, probably a number one. You'll need some quarter hollow metal beads. Okay. So those are all the parts that you're going to need right there, and they're all in that magazine. So I'm going to show you how to assemble this. The hardest thing you've already completed is if you got that done. That's the hard part. So now we're going to. So basically, what we're going to do is take the heat shrink, slide it down the shaft here. I already have an O-ring on my treble hook hooked to the eye. So basically, what the heat shrink does, you can buy it at Advance Auto, holds that hook straight out. Yeah, you should use a hot air gun, but 
the wire works just as good. So shrink that thing down there. Don't burn yourself. When that chills out, that hook will stick straight out. So, next thing you do is a 3 8 ounce egg sinker. Maybe. Okay. Flash. A plastic bead spacer that you can get at a craft store. Anywhere you want to. Another piece of flash. So you're getting close. You're getting close there. Okay. Getting close. Okay. So remember, you got your hook, your sinker, piece of flash, a plastic bead spacer, piece of flash. Now we got to put this other treble hook on. So you can put a bead in between the clevis, so you'd have a bead that sits in there. But I'm not going to right now. So just basically just slide your clevis on with your O-ring, your seven knot treble hook. Slide that down. Okay. Now you want to put a quarter bead. And you want to put five sixteenth bead, another five sixteenth bead. So you got three beads right there, three beads. A body. Remember, you can use a magnum body. The body is where the weight comes from in the front. The uh, bigger the better, really, in my opinion. But you know, the heavier it is, the deeper it's going to go, and the harder it's going to be on you. So, body, five sixteenth bead. Another five sixteenth bead. Three five sixteenth bead. Four five sixteenth bead. Five, five sixteenth B. Now we need to put the blades on. So now you got two clevises, two number ten Colorado blades. Put your clevis through. All right. So put your first one on. Okay. Now hold it. Now put the second one on. Make sure the the bellies are facing in to the bottom. So you want to put one, one. So they inter interlock, so to speak. So see how they interlock. Oops, that came off on me. Uh, that's what you want to do. Slide it down. Finish with a quarter bead. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a double cowgirl. You'll probably be able to make this for eight bucks. Now to bend the eye. Basically, I'm just going to show you how you could do it at the house. Uh, uh, you can use a pair of needle noses. Uh, these aren't these are jewelers. Basically, what you want to do is go up about an inch and a half from the from the top bead, and then that sucker all the way around. Just like that. All right, and then kind of double bend back on it. You got something that looks like this. Take your pair of channel locks. Clamp down on the end of it. Then take your finger. Start wrapping that thing around. All right. Get it around about two times. Cut the excess off. Give yourself about a half inch. So you're about like that. Then take them same wire cutters. Kind of pinch it and turn with the channel locks. This is a cheap way to do it, buddy. I've got a tool at the shop that does this for me, but like I said, I'm just trying to help everybody else with some happy kind of tools. Looks the same. Ain't no musket alive gonna break out, I promise you. 